Hey guys, it's Josh from the Update Channel, and today I was clearing my very long driveway with my little diesel tractor in a blizzard. Yeah! And I thought to myself, you know what would be a good topic to discuss today? Why are diesel engines harder starting in the cold? Now, if you ask an economist this question, they might say, well, harder starting in the cold compared to what? What's your definition of cold? Depends what your definition of is is. But what we're referring to is generally winter conditions and compared to gasoline engines, diesel engines are, or at least particularly in the past, have been much harder starting than gasoline, or some people call them petrol engines. Now, not all diesels are hard starting in cold weather, but some particularly are. This little Kubota diesel tractor, as you can see, eh, it's kind of cold out today. Got a little bit of snow here. And if you try to start it without the glow plugs, even though it just ran for a couple minutes, until it's fully warmed up, generally, it will not want to start. However, give it the glow plugs. Now the reason for this is actually more than one thing. There's actually several things which lead them to be harder starting than gasoline engines. And I'll kind of go in order of significance what I believe they are the causes of why they are harder starting than gasoline engines. And let's start with the biggest one and that is really gasoline itself compared to diesel itself. So if you don't know, gasoline is using gasoline engines. Shocking and diesel engine is burns diesel fuel. Now diesel fuel is more closer to oil than gasoline, which is actually very thin, closer to a solvent. But gasoline is very flammable and easily ignitable. You could pour gasoline on the ground, light it with a match. I'm sure most people have done that. Diesel, however, pour it on the ground, throw a match on it. It is not going to ignite. It's not going to catch on fire. That's because diesel, while actually having more energy per unit of measure than gasoline is not as easily flammable. So it is not ignited as easy as gasoline. So during the combustion process, let's say you go out to your car, it's 20 degrees outside or minus 10 Celsius, and you crack it, most gasoline engines are gonna fire no problem. A diesel engine, however, has a harder time starting generally in the cold. Now folks, this particularly pertains to older diesel engines, more modern common rail diesel fuel systems are easier starting, but I would make the case that it would be very hard for a diesel engine to be easier starting than a gasoline engine, and that's what we're gonna discuss right now. So the gasoline as it's injected or pulled in, if it's a carburetor, into the cylinder to be ignited has a spark plug, and the spark plug ignites the fuel with, you guessed it, a spark. And since gasoline is easily ignited, that makes it very easy to start in the cold. Diesel, however, is what they call a compression ignition engine, and compression ignition engines have no spark plug. What they rely on is the compressing of the air and then the injection of the fuel at the right time to fire. And if you don't know, as you compress air, it takes all of the heat accumulated in the air, and the act of compressing it increases the temperature of the air. This allows you to spray the diesel fuel in and have it ignite, combust actually, and you get your four cycle diesel engine. So the fuel being one of the primary reasons why it's harder to start, that's not the only reason though. There's actually a lot of other reasons that contribute to that combustion process that make the diesel engine harder starting. And the first one is, as you guessed, the combustion process itself. Now, the diesel fuel, as I said, is harder to ignite. Not only that, diesel fuel can what they call gel when it gets to a certain temperature. It can also have moisture in it, which will freeze, obviously, if exposed to outside conditions below freezing. And gelling is actually where the diesel fuel turns on, as you guessed, a kind of a gel consistency. It can plug up filters, injectors, fuel lines have a lot of problems in cold conditions. And there's a variety of ways to deal with that. Gasoline, however, doesn't really run into any problems like that, unless you get very, very cold, like Siberia, or if you've seen those videos online where basically no one ever turns off their engine during the winter. 
But in most of the world where it might get very cold, but not that cold, the diesel engine has many disadvantages when cold. And let's get back to the combustion process itself. So like we said earlier, the diesel engine is a, com a compression ignition engine, meaning it has to compress the air to get enough heat to combust. Now, generally, diesel engines have a higher what they call compression ratio, which means the volume of air when the piston's at the bottom of the cylinder compared to when it's at the top of the cylinder is your compression ratio. And most diesel engines, like I said, are run a higher compression ratio than gasoline engines. And let's say you have a diesel engine and it has a 17 to one compression ratio. So it's drawing in this outside air. Remember the outside air is cold, it's colder, and it's trying to build heat enough to ignite the fuel. Well, it's harder to compress a higher compression ratio engine when it's cold or anytime actually, but particularly when it's cold because you're cranking the engine. You're not actually using the engine's own power. You're using the batteries to turn an electric starter, of course. Now, some diesel engines actually have air starters, but that's quite rare. So let's stick with the electric starter idea. Gasoline engines, same problem. However, the diesel being a compression ignition engine draws a lot of current to try and force that air under much higher compression ratio to heat up. Now, a problem runs into not necessarily with the starter, but with the batteries. Batteries in very cold conditions don't put out as much current as when they're warm. And since you're turning over this larger generally displacement wise and higher compression ratio engine, the diesel engine, you need more and more juice to try to get it to start. But your batteries, when it's cold, aren't able to give you as much as when it's warm. So you're at a disadvantage there. That's one reason why diesel engines generally run more than one battery. Most truck, RV, and even pickup truck applications might have two batteries, but they're still 12 volt systems. A lot of equipment, however, runs, runs 24 volt systems, but they still have the same cold starting problems. Now, given the disadvantage with the cold when it comes to the batteries, the fuel, also we have a problem when it comes to the oil. You might be saying, well, both run oil, what's the difference? Well, generally diesels run thicker oil. A standard diesel engine oil is 15W40. That's not exclusively true, but it's very common. Gasoline vehicles, especially newer ones, run a much thinner oil, meaning the oil's actually much easier to pour, particularly in cold conditions. And this has to do with the numbers on the oil. So 15W40 is a thicker oil than let's say a car that would run a 5W20 oil. And as it gets colder and colder, the thicker oil gets thicker more than the thinner oil. Shocking, right? Now, as the oil heats up, they both will get thinner, more of a water consistency. But in our cold starting condition, you have this very thick oil. Now, why that matters when starting, this oil is throughout the engine on the bearings and also in your oil pump. As you're cranking, your oil pump is trying to build oil pressure and force this oil throughout the engine. Now, the thicker it is, the harder time it is to get through the filter into the bearings throughout the engine. And since your engine is not running yet, it's relying on the starter to do all that work, which of course, we already mentioned the problem that we're pulling all this current from the batteries to try and get it to start like that. Like I said, cars have the same problem, but they generally run a thinner oil, so it's even harder for the diesel in this case. I might be saying, okay, well, well, is there any way to run a diesel in the winter? Of course there is. Manufacturers know about these problems and over the years have adopted various strategies to try and get them to start in the winter. Now, the best thing, of course, would be to just park it inside a heated shop, but most diesel engines are either large trucks or equipment, and that's not always easy to do. So some of the ways the diesel manufacturers have tried to help them start in the winter have been glow plugs, have been inlet heaters in two different styles of that, ether injection, and various types of ways to preheat either the batteries or the engine itself. So let's talk about glow plugs. Glow plugs are basically just an electric coil that when you either hit a button or turn the key, it will glow red through electrical current resistance so what you get is not a spark, but a very hot spot in the cylinder because generally glow plugs are in the cylinder itself. When those get very hot, the air as it comes up and then the fuel that's injected can hit this hot spot and ignite. And that actually works pretty well. 
The other way is inlet heaters, two general styles. There's an electric one, which is kind of a glow plug, but on the intake that heats the air, not the fuel, before it goes into the cylinder. Some manufacturers actually use diesel fuel ignited into the cylinder to get it to heat up that way, although that is less common. Another way is ether injection. This is actually not quite that common anymore, but older trucks in particular might have ether injection. Ether is starting fluid. It's a very easily flammable gas that gets sprayed into the intake and will self-ignite. So those were some strategies to hide it, kind of directly help it to start, but some of the other strategies are battery heaters. If you can get your batteries warmer, they'll put out more current, which will help the starter, but also oil heaters and coolant heaters. So either of those either go on the outside or inside the engine, let's say in a coolant passage or in the oil pan, to either heat the oil or the coolant directly, which through conduction will heat the engine, which will help it to start easier. And folks, that's most of the reason why diesel engines are harder to start than gasoline engines. If you have any other tidbits that maybe I didn't mention in this video, if you wanted to let me know if you liked or didn't like the video, you can leave that in the comments section. And as always, thanks for watching.